Hey folks, this is Farid Pramani. We ignite the spark once again, and today we will discuss about a pro con list method that might help you actually figure out how to make important decisions in life. So there is a thought that our mind actually thinks in a way which is on a rational framework. So let's say, and it, this method is used by common C-suite level people, chief executive, CEOs, director level people, but you can use these methods to take smaller decisions in your life, or maybe crucial to one. Let's say you've got a job offer and the job involves you to move to maybe some XYZ location, leaving your comfort zone. And you want to do a sort analysis, which was a kind of old theorem, but these days people use something called pro-con analysis method. So this is how you actually learn by thinking in a strategic directional way, which actually helps you realize what is good for you and not, and actually to plot a clear picture, whether it's a business decision, it's a marital decision, life planning decision, anything, you know, investment or anything or a career decision. So let's say you've got an offer of, let's say, moving to XYZ location for XYZ raise in the salary. And there are different terms associated with it, maybe your positional improvement, your strategic improvement, your uh, kind of the popularity you get as being associated with that new brand, uh, something that you always dreamed about, or maybe it was something better in the previous job that you loved, which you're not finding in this one. So you do list of all the factors which you think is associated to that problem and then plot it in a curve x and y axis on zero it's you right now who doesn't know whether to go in which direction and then try to make a plot let's say plus one plus two plus three plus four plus five up to plus ten and then minus one minus two minus three up to minus ten and let's say talking about this hypothetical situation you feel that location is something I'm not very sure about it or it's something some a place where there will be too much loneliness I don't get a crowd or it's it's something the weather doesn't suit me it's too cold for me you know and I'm not habit into that kind of place so let's say you mark it minus three on your Likert scale let's say the salary raise is excellent maybe you want to mark it plus seven let's say the job description is something you feel okay salary is good but I don't like the work which is there but I'll just move for a better 30% increment. So you'll mark it like minus one or plus one instance. The workers around it, you'll get the reviews around it, uh, your career path. And most important thing which we always forget in life is how your gut feel is. Always keep in mind successful people always shoot for the gut feel. It's difficult to rationalize gut feel, but you can at least put a pointer mark. So let's say your gut feel about the decision is positive. But how much positive? Is it three? Is it five? Is it seven? Or is it minus one? Mark them down. Mark those all seven eight pointers. Sit, relax, grab a cup of coffee. Come over back to the problem this next day. Usually they say that try to give 24 hours to that pro con analysis. Add everything and you might get a logical number for it, which will actually help your left side of the brain, which is more logical make a decision whether if this was a positive opportunity for you a negative and how should you make the decision i hope this video helps you do a strong mental analysis of the situation take care